Hello, my friends of Atri Labs. My name is Olmo Montoya. Welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to create a Geo Voronoi mesh. I mean, it's a Voronoi style mesh. What are we talking about? We have, um, for example, we have a basin here. We have some rivers here. I'm going to do some. Great, and the rivers will be like this. Oh, let me, yeah, like this. Okay, so what we are going to do is we are going to do this. We are going to do a grid that the grid will be um, dependent on the distance to the feature because. Uh, we will have a limit layer and as well what we are going to have is the different oh, sorry because I have to set the system of references okay. okay great so we will have um, a grid that will have uh, smaller objects close to the rivers okay so as long as you are close to the river you will have a smaller objects approximately you will go from a refinement of 500 meters to a refinement of 20 meters okay approximately because as you as you see in this Voronoish mesh the objects are not regular so you you cannot define like the um, I mean value okay this was done for a mod flow 6 mesh okay on the this u this v so this creative a vertex uh well but this is a first step the first step is to create the mesh and from this mesh what we are going to do next is to create the mod flow model but since this is a open world and it's a vast world maybe this kind of uh, mesh discretization will be helpful if you are doing if you are doing anything else like uh, hydrological modeling what else hydrological modeling uh, any any kind of global climate change or whatever maybe this this kind of construction will be also helpful okay so let's have and if we want to we can add a google satellite here and this is our, this is the basin location. Okay, you will have all this, uh, what you will receive on the description of the video is this, yeah, you will receive, okay, you will receive this folder, the zipped folder of this folder, where you will have the scripts and then you will have the shapes so you can recreate this tutorial. There are, I mean, the, the process is highly, highly cost, customizable because you can do really great stuff you can do more refinement you can create you can associate the refinement to polygons or to points however in this stage we are only doing these two lines okay um, it might be that as a plain geospatial thing this will be the end of this uh, of this work because later on what will shift is to in order to do the groundwater modeling um, code okay but however yes uh, i will drop my email or like on the website of battery labs you can get my email and then you can send me an email of saying what you what you want and where we will maybe i i can give you i can give you some more hints about how to do what you are specifically looking for okay so what else okay so let's start okay um in this case some um some new things that now i use uh, ubuntu 
yeah but yeah, and then what I use here is what do I use here sorry is atom yeah so okay so I will I will close this and I will close this usually I used to work on usually I used to work on um, for example I will create a new atom because maybe you are not you are not familiar with Atom, so you, I just open. Oh, sorry, this <laughs> what I was. Okay, so okay, so let's open Atom. Okay, and let's. I will close all my, remove my, all my project folders. Yeah. And then I will add my project folder that will be the one that I told you. So it's documents for an image. Okay, and then here. Okay, so we will get these chip files and scripts. Okay, these are the chip files. Okay, this is already the result, but I will delete this because actually this is generated by the code. So it's not a so. I can delete this one because this is generated by the code. You can even have correlation, translation, so this if you work with your pandas is kind is is pretty easy. Okay. So what you have here is the RAM mesh. Yeah. This is the GeoVoronoid. GeoVoronoid while will be the API. Okay. I don't want to, to create a like a pack, Python package because I know that this is kind of incomplete. Okay, I mean, do the work with these files, but uh, in order to do something more refinated, it will it will have um, it will require more work. And uh, right now, to this point, I don't know if I how much time I will give to this. Okay, I, maybe I'm more interested to create ground mode, mode flow models. Okay, then you have a relax. This relaxation is actually, this is actually from Duhem, uh, Duhem, well, well, it's, um, it's from uh, Deloitte, um, the, this is a package on Python that is called Lloyd, okay, that I have tweaked because, um, in order to run faster, okay. And then you will have the run mesh. So actually, you need these three, okay? But here on the run mesh, okay, is where you add the limit layer, you add the definition layer. The limit layer is the boundary, okay? And the boundary is not related to, as you have seen, the boundary is not related to discretization. But the, the, the definition layers, those are uh, refinement definition layers. In this case, we have only one chip file, but uh, it can be that you have that you can have more chip files associated. I mean, like you can have, for example, uh, wells, you can have um, trenches, you can have uh, polygons on the on the definition. Okay, then uh, we you create some pair array. Okay, the pair array uh, is are the we will see that because the pair array is the orange points. And then you will you will, will relax it, okay? Because the code uh, creates some pre array, but based on this pre array, the bottom nine sides are not regular, okay? We will talk about this on the when we see it. What is really important is that the bottom nine will be more regular, so the flow computation among cells will be more stable, okay? Then we clip the bottom noise because the bottom noise are over the whole extension, but we we only want that the bottom noise that are inside our basin, okay? And then we save that as a chip file because this is what we, okay, this is what we want. And then we create a graph that has everything: it has the input, the relaxed, has the input, has the relaxed pairs has the bottom noise and has the vertex okay so let's run it in linux will be like this if you are in windows use the i strongly recommend to use anaconda prompt and from anaconda prompt um or to use anaconda use anaconda prompt and then 
type like this so say um, cd doc documents and in this case will be GeoGoronoish I strongly recommend as well as you download and place this folder on your documents okay and then type scripts okay because it's on the scripts and here is python3 if you are working in windows will be only python on anaconda and then try run mesh pi okay so there are some conflicts in between the pi geos and the shape lib okay uh, the original vertex has well the, the refined vertex has now 9000 then start the para region regeneration mm. and on the because this has some loops and I will host as well um, I will host as well a webinar on this because yeah well this is to this topic is to be talked over two hours okay but you have some loops and the loops are here uh, for example in the first loop you get 10,000 items and then the second loop you create you have 50,000 items okay but 50,000 items for this um, for 50,000 items for this um, for for this type of model is not that much okay it's really a decent number of, of items then the total generation actually takes 10, 10 seconds and the relaxation takes 9, 9 seconds and the Voronoi greeting takes 32 seconds but the Voronoi greeting and then for the Voronoi greeting and then it's also the time that it takes to create the, the chip file okay that create times we are talking about half a minute for a, on the basic scale is not that much I mean by sure this can be optimized but it's not that much okay so here we have these are the relaxed points and then here we have the the bigger discretization we have as well the smaller discretization this is the geological this is the feature and as well this since um, since the original vertex are the, the ones that are on the limit but we have set more vertex here along the path why? because uh, we want to be sure that uh, because the point generation actually are are related to the distance to the line to the vertex not to the line so we have to fill with more vertex ok so here we have the bigger discretization and the smaller discretization and this is the Voronoi grid ok and here we can see more and it's working I mean it took me some time to do it mm, I'm very, I think that I'm happy because uh, it's kind of smooth so and I'm eager to to prove this I mean to test this into a mod flow model okay uh, what else what what else here uh, yeah and I think that I mean I, I love abstract art and this is really it's art I mean I, I see this and I saw art <laughs> okay so funny okay so this is the tutorial um, I'm my name is Ol Montoya from Hattery Labs I hope that you find this uh, useful and interesting all the code is on the description of the video um, something else that we have a um, platform that is um, we have an e-learning platform where you can have where you can find a lot of courses and some webinars you can also have free webinars as well here so if you are really deep interested motivated and you like what we do sorry let me give you this if you are really interested motivated and we like what we do and if you have learned from us or maybe you have not learned but you want to learn from us um, just sign up for our courses for example if you want to take this 
discourse on groundwater modeling just log and then at the end you will you will can pay through paypal okay so so far from me have a great day and see you in comment tutorials okay bye bye bye